All right, we are uh, hooking up um, an alley, a customer here in an alley that uh, it's a pretty old build. What we did on this, this is like a, a couple different buildings, but they're connected on the second floor with uh, like these walkways, and there's three of them. Um, and it's all one owner, so that's why we decided to do it the way we did it. And uh, we used one of these. Uh, I think we have uh, three. Um, three of these on the network. Um, these big uh, big boxes that we got. Um, and we we're going to be doing a flat drop, a fast adapter here. And it's a crazy key. Um, uh, it's like my key don't even work. That sucks. Alright. So... Okay, uh, that's not fun. Let's figure out how to get in this box. All right, so I got this bad boy open, um, and uh, I'll kind of show you what I did. This is an early iteration. This is something that we were testing. Um, it's fine. It's pretty awesome. I mean, for the fact of what I've got going here. So we've got, um, and I wrote this so that when I come back, I can always. Uh, figure my shit out um, The bottom eight splitter Down here That's coming straight out of my OLT and that's why I'm at a negative four So I got plus five coming off my OLT to here to give me a negative four on every one of those ports and then uh, Back in the day when we were getting these we were getting these two fiber pre-made cables and a lot of times one of them was failing um, actually happened quite a bit fit not fa like failing before um, we even put a customer on it like it, they just sucked so we never we stopped getting those um, so that's the reason why I have two coming off my splitter and I'll show you why in a second so basically I've got a negative four going upstairs on two uh, fibers I've got a negative four going um, all the way to that building and it's on the wall and there's an eight-way splitter in it too. So basically I left an eight-way splitter here. Um, I've got an, some extra ports uh, here with a, a whole lot of power. So I could put more eight-ways on this if I needed. If I, who knows what the plans are. Um, and then I've got upstairs on the second floor right above us, I have an eight-way splitter in the closet and that's to service apartments. So pretty cool. Um, how this all worked out and what I was going to do is uh, hook my power meter up um, because today um, today we're going to be doing uh, they could not fish this guy's basement I guess it's a little clustered up in there we're about to find out how it looks um, and they had to cut the head because that's um, they weren't able to fish the wall with it so they had to cut it to fish the wall like that's how tight it was um, which is unfortunate but um, I need to know when I'm doing these they're 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 okay like I try not to use them unless it's like a special circumstance or an emergency or I can control the entire oh, excuse me the entire situation what I mean is I'm at a negative 14 um, well, I'm gonna go put this on and if I'm at a negative 14 negative 15 I'm gonna say that's okay if I put this on I'm at a negative 22 it would probably work just fine. You might get some weird flap or something on the G-Pon, but it would keep the modem working. But if I don't know this number, I don't know inside what is correct. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot for a negative 14, and I might do a couple of them to see how close I can really get. Um, never bring one of those. Um, always bring at least two because um, sometimes they're either messed up or you damage it putting the fiber in or who knows um, but I'll try to rig it up so you can see how we do this uh, it's actually uh, pretty pretty easy so let's go ahead we'll get inside this customer has eight phone lines which I'm not looking forward to um, so we'll go ahead we know about our negative 14 and that's all I needed to be out here for otherwise we can just go make contact with the customer 
I forgot to mention why we did it this way with the splitters and stuff out there is because um, this is a leased fiber. So we leased one fiber. Um, so I try to make use of it the best I can. So this handy dandy little tool you know, pretty much strips this for you. Um, what I like to do before you forget is put that screw on. To the side. Make sure you get that on because you'll be mad at yourself otherwise. It's hot outside. Hmm. Alright, so you pop that. There's your fiber. Um, and on the quick connect, it has kind of what you're shooting for. Um, so what I like to do is just go to about right there. Cut it. That way you can kind of cleave that length. Um, also, on my cleaver, uh, I haven't done one of this in a while, but I want to say there's a notch that I was using. Yeah, I think I think yeah, that was something like right there. Cool. So I'm doing this up at like sh shoulder level. See what we can get going here. Oh, you know what? That ain't gonna cleave right. Silly. Just start that over. Things will get you out of a pinch. They ain't the greatest. I don't know. It'll be pretty cool if this works. First shot, too. Hang on, I gotta get up in here. Something along those lines right there. Okay. I don't know if that shows up. Yeah, you get the idea. <clears throat> now this part, what I'd like to do is <gasps> not that. <clears throat> is make sure you get your orientation of that correct. So that goes that direction facing away because it is an angled connector. So this is, I'm trying to get so I can see the light. There we go. And uh, how I've been doing it is pushing until you just get a little bit of resistance, right like that. Yep. What you can do is go ahead, lock that down. Make sure you got, don't pull, but make sure you have some force on it. Roll this guy up. Uh, I've seen a lot of people drop some super glue right there, um, but I don't like it because. Uh, you have sometimes to do this two or three times to get it right. So once you're screwed down there, it takes all the strength to there. And I'm not even going to put that connector on. Um, 
because of our power. Oh boy. Okay, 1490. Come on, baby. Negative 16.93. Not incredibly happy about that, but I did uh, notice that it came out of a different box. I think I'm going to go out and we'll check that box. Uh, yeah, so negative 17. Actually, you know what? I could just check the customer next door. See what he's at. Uh, let's do that now. All right, so um, checked uh, the customer next door. I just pulled him up in the uh, system. And uh, he's at a, a negative 16.1. Um, uh, so I'm okay uh, with that. 16.9. Um, well, it's 16.88 now. I probably straighten this out. It'll probably change a little. 16.88. Um, it's certainly within a reasonable expectation of what this thing can do. So, um, what I like to do is, uh, <clears throat> I always forget which way to put these on. And, okay, so that goes like this. Before you push it, make sure you're right. Yep, I think I'm okay now. There's that. Put my dust cap back on and uh, let that kind of hang out for a second. So cool. That's uh, just a, a way of doing it. You know, you don't you don't want to make that what you do every time. That's for sure. But well, I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a phone call over at the PBX company. We got an IP PBX over here. That I'm going to be hooking up to, and it looks like they're all analog, but I can come back here in the back, and uh, it's definitely capable of taking sip, so we'll see what goes down when I call them. Uh, I got home here, and my wife is trying an experiment, um, which is crazy. She is trying to cook some cookies in the car. And it looks like she got her up to 188. So, what the fuck, dude? It's hot out. It's crazy, man. <laughs> what a crazy experiment.